Hey, thanks for watching. Welcome to Drone Chat. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about the DJI Spark. So today I wanna to talk about why I think the DJI Spark is the best drone or better than any other DJI product for 90% of people. Okay, so now I know this might sound a little crazy to probably uh, most of you out there who are um, avid enthusiasts and hobbyists, but um, hear me out for a second and I think you'll see why um, the Spark makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. So first of all, um, let's just talk about the size. I think this is its biggest benefit. Um, some people may see it as a downfall, but I see it as a benefit. It is very small, to the point where I think when you pull it out in an area where there's people around, they're not gonna even notice so much that you're flying a Spark, whereas if you're flying a Phantom, even a Mavic, you, people will still take note, um, but at, at the size of the Spark, it's so small, it's so unobtrusive that you aren't bothering people if you're flying an area, um, you aren't getting in their way. Um, and I think that poses, you know, a huge uh, benefit, um, not only to people who are, you know, just trying to get shots without being annoyed by people, but it also makes it much easier for somebody who is new to the drone hobby um, and doesn't want, you know, uh, people coming up to them all the time, telling them, you know, to asking them about the drone, talking to them about their drone, because it looks like a toy. It really does. Um, and so that brings me to, I guess, my first con. It looks like a toy. Um, and that's why it's not for 100% of people. Um, anybody who's professional or needs to present uh, some sort of like presence as having authority or looks like they really know what they're doing, obviously can't, I don't think, be flying uh, the Spark. It's just too, it's too like cute. It, I mean, it comes in like pink, I think red, let's see, green. It comes in all sorts of colors, right? Which is super fun, not super professional. Um, but for the non-professional, let's see, for $499, you get a lot of drone. Um, now, this is what DJI says. This is kind of their little marketing spiel. They say, meet Spark, a mini drone that features all of DJI's technology, allows you to seize the moment whenever you feel inspired with intelligent flight control options, a mechanical gimbal, and a camera with incredible image quality. The Spark empowers you to push your creative boundaries. Um, I don't know about pushing creative boundaries, but it really gives you another eye in the sky, like another, another angle, um, and can add a lot of production value for your average person just making a home video or uh, trying to fly for fun. Um, the other thing that you get is for that price of $499, you get pretty much all of the technology that comes in DJI's more advanced drones, like the Phantom 4 Professional, um, the Phantom 3s, where you had, you know, Follow Me, um, you know, the, the mechanical gimbal to give you stable video. Um, you still get reasonable image quality, and I think that's the biggest drawback with the Spark. The image quality is just, it's not up to the Phantom. There's a big difference, but for, you know, comparing it to an iPhone quality video, comparing it to, you know, some handheld uh, cameras, you're not that far off. So for somebody just doing it for fun and not trying to sell real estate, for example, or doesn't need, you know, to film a wedding, the Spark makes a lot of sense. I don't know if you're starting to get this. Um, the other thing the Spark gives you is it gives you hand controls and hand gestures. I don't know about that. It feels a little gimmicky to me. I'd rather just control it with my phone or with the remote. Um, if I'm going to be uh, flying a drone, I don't know if, you know, maybe for some people, but to each their own. Um, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to what you get for the price. So for like $500 to $600 or $700, depending on if you get extra batteries and the remote, um, you get a drone that has the capabilities of a $1,500 drone just scaled back. You know, you get um, the reliability of something like a Phantom, but you just don't get the range of the Phantom, so it comes back a little bit. 
you get the smooth video of something like the Phantom or the Mavic, um, but the image quality is just, it's not up to spec. It's, you know, smaller cameras. So, you know, there's a little bit of a downside. Um, another huge benefit um, is you can fly the Spark indoors. It is a small drone, um, meaning that for somebody who, you know, can't always get outside to fly and just wants something to mess around with inside, you can also fly it indoors. Not to mention if you're trying to film something indoors and you want another camera angle, um, the Spark can do that. I would not really feel comfortable flying a Phantom indoors. Some people may. Um, and even a Mavic is a little bit dicey. Um, but at the size of the Spark, it really packs a lot of technology in something like the size of an iPhone, um, which is just crazy and I think super cool. So anyway, guys, that's why I think that the, Mav that the DJI Spark is better than any other drone on the market right now uh, for 90% of people. Um, so it's not for somebody who is professional, but it is for the other 90% of people who just want to have fun um, and get in the air with the drone. So thanks for watching. Um, and join us next time and let us know what you want to hear on the show. Um, thanks for tuning in. See ya.